My name is Megan, and next semester I will be the video blogger for Central College in Leiden, the Netherlands. I should introduce myself a little bit. I attend St. Catherine University, and I'm a double major in English, Communication Arts and Literature, and I minor in Philosophy. So basically, I want to teach English at the middle school or the high school level. I want to study in the Netherlands because of one main factor. Boom! I've been a fan of John Green for a really long time, and I got this book a few days after it was released, and I read it in a few days, and I fell in love with descriptions of Amsterdam, and I decided that I wanted to see the Netherlands for myself and explore this world that John Green has presented to me. So because I leave in about 11 days, I have started packing things like normal things like uh, clothes and toiletries, um, but there are other things that I'm including in my suitcase that have been suggested to me by other travelers in my life. So I'd like to share some of those things with you. So as an English major, I'm asked to read a lot, and I am happy to read a lot. So normally when I go off to college, I will bring about, I don't know, anywhere between a third and half of the books that I own in my room. But that's not exactly feasible when you're only, when you're going to be moving to Europe for four and a half, five months. So I've decided I'm going to pack a box that, that's about um, this big. So not very big at all. So some of the books I'm bringing are um, American, books that are distinctly American. So books like um, Catcher in the Rye and uh, The Great Gatsby. Um, a friend of mine that travels quite a bit suggested that um, I bring books that are distinctly American in case I get homesick. So, you know, if my parents are, aren't available because it's 3 in the morning or something like that, I have these to turn to to remind me of the U.S. and also let me know that, you know what, I'm, o I'm okay, I can get past this homesickness, you know, that kind of thing. Some other books I'm bringing are books that are um, about the Netherlands or about Dutch language. So I'm bringing um, Anne Frank's diary, Diary of a Young Girl. Um, I'm hoping to visit Anne Frank, the Anne Frank house in Amsterdam at some point. Um, I'm also bringing a Dutch phrase book and dictionary that's nice and small and very quite thin, so it'll be easy to carry with me. And I also have um, a book, Say It Right in Dutch, and basically, oh, that one's really shiny. Um, basically, it's a book with English words and Dutch words, and then it also tells you how to say certain things, and it shows you phonetically, I guess. So another thing that I'm bringing is um, some maps. This map is a map of all of the Netherlands, so everything from uh, Leiden to Amsterdam to Groningen. Groningen? What is at the top? Um, the Hague, things like that. Um, but I also have a smaller map that's specifically of Amsterdam, and that'll be really helpful as I try to navigate um, my own city and also cities in my area. Another thing that someone suggested that I bring are um, measuring spoons and cups. So these are my collapsible ones, so they'll be easy to pack, and then when I get there I can pop them open and use them. So you probably won't hear from me until after I've arrived and settled a little bit in Leiden. So next time you hear from me, you'll see a video on travel, how that went, and arrival, also how that went, and settling in, so kind of what my whole setup is like. But in the future, I'd like to make videos about Dutch language as I'm learning. Uh, my understanding is the first two weeks are dedicated to um, helping us learn and use Dutch. I'd also like to make videos about travels that I might take, because I know I'm going to take them, and also about Leiden itself. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye!